Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video checking out the official Android 5.0 Lollipop build running on my Nexus 5. There's no more developer preview. This is the proper factory image direct from Google. The over the air update is also filtering through as well. And yeah, so far I've really been enjoying the experience. If we go into the about phone section here, you can see it's Android 5.0. The build number is at the bottom as well. And if we tap that 5.0 number, you'll see we have the Easter egg, which is a kind of bubble that turns into a lollipop that changes colors. And if you press and hold that, we get that kind of flappy bird Easter Easter egg game. I guess if you're bored in a dentist office, you've got nothing else to do, you can go ahead and play this game. It's now built into Android Lollipop, so it's always going to be there, which is kind of cool. And yeah, I kind of suck at it. It's a really hard game. I think my top score is around two or three. But yeah, getting back to the official build here, it looks very similar, of course, to the developer preview. There's not really any changes there. But the first thing I noticed was it was quite a bit faster. Now, it is much faster in my opinion. You can just see how quickly I can navigate around the OS. The animations are still there. They're still beautiful. They're still smooth, but they're definitely quicker in my opinion. I can open apps a lot quicker than I could on the developer preview. They just seem snappier to me. And personally, I think that's a good thing. You still get that material design feel of where things are coming from and where they're going, but it allows you to move around more quickly accessing your apps without waiting for the animations to happen. So yeah, the recent area also feels like it got a bit of a speed boost. It wasn't exactly slow before on the developer preview, but it feels like the performance has that little bit more polish and I did notice it. It could easily switch between applications a lot quicker. I was Yesterday I was playing with it. I was talking to three or four different people on different applications and I could easily switch between them and it was just seriously fast with no lag. Now in terms of the Google apps that come bundled with the factory image, of course you have the standard stuff like the Play Store, YouTube and Chrome. You also now have Google Fit by default, but you no longer have the Gallery APK, the AOSP Gallery that's been there for quite a while. That's no longer there, I'm afraid. You can see it's not installed. You now only have the Photos application, which I'm actually not a massive fan of. I don't like the layout, so I went ahead and downloaded QuickPick, which I do recommend. It's really awesome. You can link all your accounts to it. You'll also notice that the messaging app that comes bundled with the Nexus 6 is not included in the factory image, but you can go ahead and download that from the Google Play Store. Otherwise, it's just Hangouts as default here. It's a little bit too early to talk about battery life for the Nexus 5 on this build. I've only had it really on here for a day. What I can say is that miscellaneous bug that was plaguing the developer preview is now gone. I haven't seen that on here yet, so that's absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen Android Lollipop before, one of the main aspects is the lock screen has now changed. You've got lock screen notifications. You can expand them. You can swipe away. One thing I did notice is there's a slightly new animation on the lock screen. I think there is anyway. I didn't notice this on the preview. The lock at the bottom of the screen lights up when you're about to unlock the device. Again, I'm not sure if that was on the developer preview, but I've only just noticed it now, so feel free to correct me if that was on the developer preview and I just didn't notice it. It comes bundled with the new Google search app, which if you haven't noticed, now hooks into third-party apps, so you can say things like Play Muse Hysteria on YouTube, and it will find that song and start playing it for you on YouTube, which I think is really cool. Of course, the third-party application will have to support it, but it works really well. I've tested it on YouTube, and I've also tested it on Twitter, which you can try right now. And we'll just try searching for something simple like football tweets on Twitter. You can see it's recognized that voice input and it's recognized it needs to open Twitter. And there you go. It's going to search for football tweets and there they are. So yeah, it does hook into third party applications and that's going to be awesome for developers to play with. There's going to be loads of cool things with that. I'm absolutely sure on that one. Another thing I've noticed on this final build is scrolling in a lot of applications just felt much smoother to me. You can see it's very, very fast on Twitter. It's also very fast on Android Central. One app that's still kind of slow is Facebook, but I'm really putting that down to bad coding on Facebook's part. But for me, I just felt like scrolling was smoother, especially in Google+, Plus, which you can see is still loading pictures but it still stays very smooth while doing it. So really good stuff here. That's probably the art or Android runtime in action right there. But yeah, there you go, guys. That's a quick look at the factory image for Android 5.0 on the Nexus 5. I've been really impressed with it. It's very fast, very smooth. I'm really enjoying the experience. I love the material design. I just want more apps to actually support that design. And yeah, just to say again, it is noticeably faster than the previous developer preview. So that's a really good thing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Peace out.